It's Friday, baby, and guess who is fired up? This guy right here, I'm fired up. I got chills down my arms because it just, man, it's a good day. It's a good day to be alive. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for everything, for all of you guys, and to do what I love for a living. It, it really is an, an awesome experience. So I challenge you guys or invite you guys to go out there and do what you love, make a difference in the world, okay, and, and chase some sort of passion that you have. Now, uh, on my Instagram, I posted a picture, and even on my Facebook, my wall, you can see that there's a lion guarding a little person. If it's a boy or a girl, I'm not really sure, um, but it's, it's pretty much saying, don't fear anything, okay? I'm here to protect you. So what I wanted to spread the message of is that the people who are there for you when the times get tough, right? Or, or even when they're, they're at the ultimate highs, right? But there's going to be some ultimate lows, Okay, the people who have your back through adversity, through when you totally effed up, when you messed up, you did something that's not good, right? And we've all been there because there's no more black and white anymore. And I used to be a very black and white person. And I used to think, oh, if you do this, you, you just, I can't associate with you. If you do that, that's that's bad. But guess what? There is this this whole gray scale of of experiences. Okay, that's all they are, experiences, and. Those people that stay with you through that are the most amazing people in the world. Okay, so if you have people who are like that, you need to hold them as close as possible. And you need to make sure that you're grateful for those people. Because if they weren't there for you, something, something bad could have happened. All right, you could have lost your mind if it wasn't for those people. So be grateful. I call those the lions. All right, and they're in your lion pack. And if you know me, I roll with a very small knit, closely knit, very closely knit lion pack. And I would do anything for those people. Anything. If they needed me to be anywhere, anytime, I would put it all on the line to go and help them out. And it's the, mo it's the coolest thing. It's the most amazing feeling when you have people like that who watch your back. And that's as true as it is as your friends, as, as your workout partners, as the people you work with, your employees. If you want to run a business, you need to create a lion pack within the business. Okay? When we go to the gym and we train, we don't work out, we train, people stare at us. Okay? And it's not because we're a-holes. Maybe people think we are. It's because we are a pack. We have a pack, a savage mentality to go in there and get the results. We hold each other accountable for greatness. We don't go in there and, and we don't just pussyfoot around and talk about Desperate Housewives. That's not what we do. We go in there to feast. We go in there to kill everything in our way. So you need to find those people. You need to find your pack because your environment is the most important thing in shaping who you want to become. Lions do not hang out with the gazelle. That does not happen. The day that happens, we know that there is a problem in the ecosystem. Let me tell you that. You have to go out and you have to feast. You have to go take what's yours. You have to go and just be a lion in the world full of sheep. And guess what? Grab a couple buddies, a couple friends, or attach yourself to those lions and just go out there and get after it. Have a wonderful, kick-ass, beautiful Friday. Be grateful for this experience that we call life. Okay, because there's a lot of people out there who have it way worse than you right now. I don't care how bad you think you have it. You can talk to somebody who has it way worse than you. So just be grateful. All right. Thanks, guys, for listening. Have an awesome day.